hold on. It's been like, oh my gosh, it's been, if it hasn't been four weeks, it's been three for sure. Oh my goodness, you guys. I'm back. I'm back. This month. Oh, welcome to my channel, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. I'm Janelle, and Miss Jinxie Bell, I think she forgot what this is all about because she hasn't really, she just came in and laid down in her bed, and she didn't like prepare herself to be on camera. So we'll find out if she wants to be on camera in a little bit, I guess. We'll see. But welcome. Welcome to my coffee, 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 coffee. Welcome to my coffee, coffee, coffee. Welcome to my last tube channel, Coffee, Wine, and Stitching Time. I'm Janelle, and my last tube channel is about cross stitch and knitting and coffee and all the things that I want to talk about from, and just do and go and yeah, there you go. Um, it's been a little bit, so welcome back everybody and welcome to any new subscribers. I know I've had a few new ones coming on. Um, oh my goodness. So my August and September have been crazy, crazy. I haven't even, I have two items to show you for stitching and that's it. I, I have some knitting that I have some, have done because I had some lock-ins and some different things at the yarn shop, but um, but my cross stitching is like not much. I have finishes, I have two finishes, but I don't have anything else besides those finishes. So at least I have those, you know. So that's good. Um, but I have lots of lots of haul. Um, usually in one week I have enough haul. Well, if it's been three or four weeks, I've got some haul. So settle in because we're going to be here a bit. Um, I, in my last floss tube, I know I had some giveaways. Um, I have not been able to pull for those giveaways yet, but I will get to the, I will do the pull for those giveaways. So I'm actually going to, um, the, the, um, it's back on my last video and I don't even remember what the words were right now. I know I say it in my video, but I don't even remember what they were. But these, so if you're interested in any of these three items, go back and watch my last floss tube. Um, and these are the items that I have. I have this, and I've got the a pattern that goes along with it from Lou Bonnet Hill. This is a bag from So Much to Love. And then a little blueberry tea. So that's one of the items that I have for a little a little nice giveaway or you know a little a little extra niceness um, I have a Java sock because who wouldn't need a Java sock now that I know what Java socks are if you are drinking cold beverages that sweat and ha leave water all over the place you need a Java sock so there's that and then the other one is the rabbit and the rose pattern um, from with thy needle and thread. So look at my last floss tube and go ahead and enter for those on my last floss tube if you're interested in those. Okay, there's that. Let's get to stitching. Um, so, cause I have a lot of things. First of all, oh, 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 today. Today is Tuesday the 27th. Tomorrow I hop a plane. Look, right here. There's my plane. Tomorrow I hop a plane. I'm going to Galleria and there's six or seven of us going to stay together in a house down in St. Charles and we are going to have a blast and I'm so super excited. So the last couple days, um, well, let me go back a bit. So we had Labor Day weekend. I know I didn't do the last two before Labor Day weekend. Um, so we had Labor Day weekend. I had one, two, three, four lock-ins at the yarn shop. So lock-ins are like these, they're either, they, I'm at the yarn shop basically all day hosting the lock-ins and helping everybody have a good time and playing games. We played bingo a couple times. We did all kinds of stuff. I had a garage sale. Um, it was a three day, three days worth of garage sailing stuff at my house. Um, a couple knit-alongs. We had a we went to a baby shower. I helped throw a wedding shower for my son and an upcoming daughter-in-law. Oh my, and this is just September. So 
like I said, my life has been crazy. I think I've gotten, um, we came home Sunday. Sunday was the wedding shower, the 25th. We came home and I sat down and I couldn't even think. I knew I had to work Monday morning, but I didn't know if I had to start at seven or eight. So I set my alarm for six just to be safe. And when I woke up at six, I realized because I was so sleep deprived. <laughs> I can't even believe that I'm functioning right now. Um, it's only been a couple of days, a couple of nights sleep and um, still haven't been sleeping the greatest, but at least I've got some sleep and oh my goodness, it's been, it's been a whirlwind. It really, really has. And now I'm ready for vacation. I'm ready for Galleria and I am ready to chill and slow down and just get my stitch on. That is what I'm ready for. So yeah. Um, so yeah, so let's show you. So like I said, I haven't been stitching a whole lot, but I do have two finishes. Um, and I have some yarn up, some yarn progress. And I have my items that I'm bringing to Galleria. And I have my October plans. So let's, let's get going. Okay, we're six minutes in and I really haven't said much of anything yet. But you know, if you guys have been here before, you know that that's not, that's normal. That's, that is what it is. I don't have coffee tonight, but oh, I'm going to have to, eventually I'm going to have to get some water because I know, I know me. Okay. Let's look at the progress I made. So I have two things that I finished. The first thing I finished, and these are items that I wanted to finish in summer. And the 21st was the first day of fall and I finished it before fall. So actually this first one, um, is, Summer in Stars Hollow from the Black Needle Society. Um, we also have Autumn in Stars Hollow too, and I'll show you this one as well because, um, so this one was the one that was last year and this is the retreat that was this year. And we're, I'm doing them all together in one line. So check this out. I finished it and I am absolutely loving it. Here we are. And I don't know what fabric I'm doing it on. It's like this oatmeal-y stuff or whatever. But isn't that just great? I absolutely love it. So we got two down, two seasons to go. We're going to have spring over here and winter over on this side. So two more to go. I'm loving this. So I'm really happy that I'm getting it done before the next one comes out. Very, very, very pleased with myself. So that is a finish for now. So that is going to go into my shelf until we're ready, until the next one comes out. So spring, yep, spring is when the next one comes. So there we are, there's that. Okay, then the other one. This other one that I did was a stitch, it was a sal that I um, heard that um, Jess from Stitches of Sass and Janet, Janet Jabber, they were gonna do this together and I said, oh, I wanna do that. I love that, that's an awesome pattern. It's Look for the Beauty by Bent Creek. So this is the pattern. Now, if you've been here, you know I changed things. So um, I changed some colors because there's a lot of like, it's warm colors and all of that. And I, I felt like I wanted to brighten it up just a titch. So I did this on 14 count nuts. I don't know the, oh, fabric flare. Um, so it's fabric flare and the color is nuts. So here is my look for the beauty. I think I kept the house blue and I let, I did the words in the pink and I changed the flowers to be maroon because I like maroon flowers. I like maroon. And I did the, um, so you can kind of see, I, I did stick with some of the same colors and tones and all that, but I just did brighten it up a little bit, like with the pinks and that there. So. I'm super excited about this one. Isn't that great? So there we are. I have two finishes and I got this done on the 20th before midnight. 
So I finished it before summer. I'm so excited. So that goes in my bag of my, oh, what is it? People have the bin under the bed. I have my bag in a bin. <laughs> so I will put that away for a finish at some other point in time. And I'm gonna put the pattern with it too, cause there's, oh, no I'm not. Um, there's a couple little buttons in there, but I'm just gonna leave that with the pattern cause I just did some stitching instead to incorporate that. So I'm making piles as I go of things that need to be put away and kind of where they need to be put away because after I'm done with this, I have to go finish packing my clothes and clean up my room so that I can be have a good night's sleep so I can hop the plane tomorrow morning. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, so there's that. So the, that's my pile that needs to get put away. So that's what I have for my stitching progress. Um, we are going to look at some yarn progress. So I've started a few things. Oh, this is funny. Um, oh, okay, so this is, um, I've, this is called It's So Easy. I believe that's what it's called. It's So Easy. Um, and I started this at a lock-in because I needed to have something to stitch on with Rowan. Um, so I'm using Rowan Felted Tweed Color, and this, it changes colors. So it's like this burgundy brown, and it changes to this orangey color. This is really, really cute. So it's a pattern that I found um, from Darn It anyway, and that's another yarn shop here in Minnesota. Um, I'm not sure who, which, which, who the designer was of it, but it's called It's So Easy. And I'll throw a picture of it here. So here it is. Um, and here's my start. I am on row seven. Yes, row seven. And I had to take this out once because I didn't know if I was on row two or row three. So this is actually two days worth of progress, believe it or not, <laughs> during the lock-ins. So it's pretty cheesy, but you know what? I started it. I got the yarn. I'm ready to do it. It's underway. So there we are. You know, it's going to start to get a little chillier, so there's going to be some more stitching time. There's going to be snow flying. I'm not going to want to drive many places. So there we are. I'm keeping it in one of my forbidden fiber bags that I got. All right, so there's that. I have to figure out which project I'm taking to, which yarn knitting project I'm taking to Galleria. I, I haven't decided that yet. Um, okay, this next one, this is called Jane. Here's a picture of Jane. And this is by String. And it uses cashmere. And these are the colors that I am using for my Jane. Let me put them in the right order here for you so you can see. So it's five colors, as you could, as you saw in that picture. Um, so here are my colors that I am using. I'm trying to hold them all together so they don't all fall and go wonky. So I'm starting at the bottom. So this is my, it's black. Oops, how did I know that was going to happen? All right, so I have the black on the bottom. Then I have this lighter charcoal gray. And then I've got a pop of burgundy for there. And then I've got a darker charcoal gray gray to go up there and then up on the shoulder area it's going to be this cream color so this is my jane and i have started it i'm working on both of the fronts at the same time so i have the ribbing done so here's my ribbing and i've started going up here so i'm already underway and i'm really excited about this um, this is going to be super fun. So it's so nice. Um, this yarn, I'm using Dolcetto DK, which is 70% Reno, 30% cashmere. And some of it is also Geneva, which is 90% cashmere and 10% EF lamb's wool. I don't know what that is. Um, but that's pretty exciting as well. So you'll see, I do have quite, I have a few starts, definitely. 
for some yarn. All right, next we've got, oh, these are hats that I'm working on. Um, I'm making hats for um, the Messy Bun hats. Athena and um, Melina were looking for some Messy Bun hats, so I made myself one as a test. So this is the one that I made for me. And yep, I, I think I feel like I, I feel like I did this and I messed my hair up last time. I don't know. Did I? So this is my messy bun. I still have to sew in the ends. But here's my messy bun hat that I did as the test to make sure that I had the sizing right. And I am almost done with Athena's. She wanted a black one. And I'm going to work on this one. So this is going to be my travel project tomorrow. So I'll be working on these. And I'm pretty sure I'll have... I don't know if I'll have Athena's all done, but I will have that done probably by Thursday or Friday. So there is that one. That was definitely going to Missouri with me to Galleria. Okay, then I've got this hat. This one I started at a lock-in, and this was going to be some, called the Wildwood Beanie. Um, wait a sec. Let me throw... Let me throw a picture of the messy bun hat in here. So this is the messy bun hat. That's the um, one that I'm making there. Okay, so now this hat, this is, I started it out making the Wildwood. So here's the Wildwood hat. And the Wildwood hat is just basically a one by one ribbing all the way up. But I felt like it needed a little something extra. Um, so I went and searched for another pattern and I found this pattern called Beloved. And it's the Beloved has a double seed stitch in it, so it just gives it that extra oomph. What I'm doing here is I'm holding two yarns together. Look at these. So I have this purple and this like mustardy green kind of color. And look at what it does. Oh my gosh, it's turning out so fun. I love it. I'm on the decreased portion of it, so I'm almost done with this hat. And you guys, look at this pom-pom that goes with it. Oh. Isn't that just like the best pom-pom ever? Look at, look at how perfect that is. Oh, I absolutely love it. I feel like I might, no, I don't know. I feel like I might bring this with me also, just so I can finish it. No, no, I'm not. I'm going to leave this one at home. I might bring the Jane with me. Um, yeah, I'll bring the Jane and then the messy bun hats. That's what I'll bring to Galleria. Because the Jane is just gonna be a good, easy knit back and forth. Okay, then we have my Lola. And I, I feel like I may have shown you this much of the progress on my Lola, but I'm not positive. So I have lots of strings hanging here, but my Lola is coming along. I have it put together as a vest. So here is this. What I have to do now is I have to make the hood and attach the hood up here. Um, I have the pockets done. I have to attach the pockets on each side. And then I have to do ribbing around the arms and then the ribbing on the front of each side there. So I have a feeling that'll be done here in October as well. So, oh, let me catch you up on pictures. Here's a picture of the Lola. And then, let's see, the Jane. The, yeah, that was all the pictures then. Um, oh, and I'm using, um, what yarn am I using for this one? I'm using Malabrigo, I believe. Um, yeah, I'm using Malabrigo Chunky Damask Rose for my Lola. So, um, I'm using Cascade, um, an alpaca and a superwash for my beloved hat. For the Rowan, I showed you the yarn that I had for the Rowan and then the Jane, you know what yarn that is. So those are my knitting progress. So I've had some knitting progress, you know, I've started a couple things. I've had lots of yarn purchases. We're not even going to go there because they are, there's, I bought, the, well, the, the items that I bought yarn for is the Easy V sweater 
and I'll show you these throughout the next few months because I want to start all these the next few months. Um, there's the Easy V sweater. There's Strata by Rowan or Mode. And that is, oh my gosh, that's a lovely jacket. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. Um, I bought the Fade. It's a Fade cowl. Um, and that uses Kid Silk Haze Rowan, which is just this yummy, delicious, lacy knit fluffiness. Um, I have yarn for a new project coming out called Spectrum, and that comes out Friday, I believe, this coming Friday by Aaliyah, um, and it's a Tunisian crochet. Oh, uh, let's see, what else did I get there? Um, so there's that. I think I have a couple other things too that I purchased, but I don't know for sure. So so those are some of my yarn purchases lately at, from Be Well and from the yarn shop. Okay, let's get into haul. So everything I have, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have eight packages right here. And I have the just cross stitch box from Black Needle Society. I haven't opened anything. It's all a surprise. I have been avoiding floss tube because I haven't wanted to watch and you know ruin it. I wanted to be surprised when I open things. So all of these things, I don't know what they are. Okay, I don't even know who, remember who they're from anymore. Okay, so this one, this is from Be Stitch Me, and this was mailed August. So this is my August fabric of the month from Be Brandy Up Be Stitch Me. And yeah, you're gonna hear the crinkles. I'm, I'm sorry, but if I open things, then I'd know what they are. Ooh, this is pretty. All right, if you have not gotten your, well, it's the end of September. You've gotten your August be stitched me. <laughs> so there you go. It was before Labor Day. So it's been four weeks since I filmed. There you go. All right. So this is called Not Another Sampler. And this is, it's a peachy color. Um, let's see. Let's put a little pink and white behind it. It's, kind of, it's it's a little more peachy pinky than what it's showing up as. It's a little kind of... Ooh. Mm. It's showing more yellow than what it really, really is. I wonder if I put it with... I don't know. Let's see. Let's open up the the next one and put them next to each other. This, because the other one might work, help it out. This next one is called Water Nymph. And I get 18 count Ada. So let's see, here is the next one. This is green and yellow. Now that is showing up a lot brighter <laughs> than what it is. But let's put these together. There we go. Now you're gonna get more of a true color for not another sampler little more peachiness and not so yellow. And then that also toned down the other one as well. So there are the names of it, if you're interested in those. So that is my August Be Stitch Me fabric of the month. Um, and I did get a shipment notice that my um, September has been shipped. So that'll probably be sitting here for when I get home then after Galleria. All right, next we have Forbidden Fiber. Now, Forbidden Fiber does such a good job at putting out new things every Friday. So we're gonna have a few Forbidden Fibers because, you know, things come out every Friday. So things are gonna keep coming, right? Right. So let's see what I got this time. This here is the Lady Penny Wither Bottom Mystery Cross Stitch Kit. I got 16 count Ada. 
I absolutely love these Wither Bottoms. I love this series. Um, Jennifer Gorski. Hello, Jen. I know we had mentioned something about doing a knitting, the or knitting, stitching these together, and I'm still up for it. I just knew that I it was going to be a rough start when we talked about it, but if you haven't started yet, I would love to start and get that going. Um, I think this is the third or fourth one that I've ordered now. I don't remember. but So this one's Lady Penny Witherbottom. And here is Lady Penny Witherbottom's bag. She dyes the bags also. Aren't that great? I love these bags. And, you know, I always forget to show. She always has some little fun embellishment on the zippers as well. And I never realized that until I'm putting it away. And I'm like, oh, yeah. Okay, so with the with this collection, we get a pattern. We get the fabric. We get the floss. And we get a newsletter. The Sheep Punk Gazette. Isn't that great? Um, so... Yeah, so there's Lady Lord Theodore with her bottom, Lady Violet with her bottom, um, Lady Penny with her bottom, and then Thaddeus Stephen Vicker. I think that's the one that just came out recently. And uh, oh, here's Sir Cyrus Sterling coming as well. Oh, I think there's going to be like nine or so. I don't remember the number of how many they're supposed to be. So I'm pretty excited for this. Oh, and there's Anita Minder as well. So here we are for Lady Penny. Um, so Lady Peather Penny Witherbottom. Um, this one has the little, there's the pattern. It has like a little steampunk gear clock with Lady Penny there. That's pretty fun. And here, it's definitely steampunk colors. All right, so we have Broomstick. Then we have... And they're all tied together, so um, medallion. So we have two skeins of medallion. Um, and the next one is garnet, two skeins of garnet, and then two skeins of cloves. So there they are. So the clove is a nice brown, and then we've got the pink there or pink maroon medallion, and there we go. So all those colors are pretty true right there. That's fun. All right, and this is on Chosen. I'm gonna pull this out because it looks like there's like a weird, oh, it's just the way it's folded. Yeah, it's called Chosen. It's a very, very, very light, almost white, almost. And this is just a fold the edge that's inside. And here is the needle minder. So there's Lady Penny. Very fun. So, so fun. Okay, so Lady Penny with her bottom. She is going back in her bag and she's going in with all the other Wither Bottom clans and her little newsletter goes back there as well so that we can start her up later. Okay, next. All right, look, Forbidden Fiber again. I told you there's gonna be a couple of those. All right, so what is this one? This one is Hocus Pocus. Oh my gosh, you guys, Hocus Pocus is coming out this weekend and I love the first Hocus Pocus movie. So I really, 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 really hope that we can stream and see the new Hocus Pocus on Disney this weekend when it comes out. That would be so fun. The house that we're renting has a theater room. So I think it'll be extremely fun if we can do that. Um, my, this one I got on 18 count Ada. So let's see what we have in store for Hocus Pocus. All right, of course, oh my gosh. It's a purple bag. Yes, it has to be a purple bag, right? It has to be. And here it is. Oh look, oh look, oh look. I love it. And it's, it's all sparkly. I love this. Ooh, this might throw my plans off. 
Well, we'll see what it is. This might throw my plans off a little bit for October, but we'll see. Oh my goodness. There's some good stuff in here, you guys. Good, good stuff. Oh man. All right. All right. So here we are. There are three different kinds of needle minders. Um, so they have three different kinds of needle minders and it's a little fuzzy here. The first one says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. One says I smell children and the other one says hocus pocus with the candle. I got the one with book and it says it's just a bunch of hocus pocus. Here we are. Hmm. I don't know. Weird. So they're clear. They're kind of fun. Different. All right. The ooh, the fabric is called Sanderson and it's a clay color. That's pretty true. You can see that right in there. Sanderson. And this is a fourth of a yard. Oh. <gasps> Oh, this is cool. It's Life Potion. Here's the pattern. Life Potion. It's got the candle on it, and it's got the cauldron, and it says, bringeth to a... Mm, I'm not going to be able to read that very well. Some of the green is hard to read in the... Okay, I got to pull it out so I can see, see it and read it out, the whole thing out loud. We'll see what this says. Okay, it's three pages. It says, bringeth to a full rousing bubble, then add two drops oil of boil and a dead and a dead man's toe. Next add a dab of newt saliva, dash of pox, stir thrice one fine thing and all is done. Add a piece of thine own tongue. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is, this is going to be a big project. Um, this is 277 wide by 121 tall. Oh my goodness. This is fun though. Okay, so here is Here's that, and here are the flosses that go with it. So we have black flame candle. We have starry sky, magnolia, tatooine, winter wheat, Silver Bells, Shadow, Black Magic, Salem. Oh, this is neat. This is like a burgundy, a deep brown burgundy. Pumpkin Spice, Celery, and Brick. Oh my goodness, those are... That's quite the colors. Very, very fun. Okay, so that is going to go back in the bag as well. Pretty fun. Okay, so this one might have to not get totally put away yet. We'll have to see what I come up with when I talk about my plants. All right, next we have frosted pumpkin. Oh, my plants are totally awry. I totally forgot about this. Oh no. Okay. We're really going to have to rethink this. Well, you know what? It's my rules, my plans. I can do it. Um, so I'll just give you a little heads up. I'm going to stitch on all of my Halloween items in October. Um, Athena does the 13 stitches of Halloween and I had no joke. I had 13 stitch Halloween stitches. So I it was perfect. I had 13 things I could work on that were Halloween-y. So now I have 
Hocus Pocus and Frosted Pumpkin. I ordered with Frosted Pumpkin. I ordered, where's my, where's my receipts? Oh, here it is. So I can tell you the right name of it. It's the um, Halloween Wreath Club. So if you guys did the Christmas Wreath Club, I'm doing the Halloween Wreath Club. So I got the kit for it. I got all of the floss. So there's all of the floss and it comes with needles. And then it's picture this plus pewter. And I got it on 14 count. I also got the anti-frog -po potion needle minder to go along with it. So, oh my. All right. I am now going to, now I have 13, 14, 15 Halloween projects. Oh my goodness. That's okay though. That's totally fine. It's all good. It's totally good. And this project is finished, so I can put this right in here and have a bag. Okay. Oh, next. Let's do this one next. This is my expo order from Stacy Stitches. Stacy Stitch. So, um, I, there's a ton of things I wanted. Um, so I, and this is actually two different orders of things put together. Um, so I, I got a bunch of things because there were a lot of things that I liked, you know, go figure. So here we go. Here's my things from Stacy Stitches. I got this cute blue Christmas ornament kit. Isn't that fun? It comes with all of the stuff that you need for it. That is so cute. I love that. I got some tart tins and I think these are the medium size. These are, yep, they're the medium size. So here's the size of them. Okay, from Sweet, Wing, Sweet Wing Studio. I got Goodness Gracious. I absolutely love that pumpkin and I love the Goodness Gracious. This is stinking cute. It's big, but it's stinking cute. Okay, Heart and Hand. Halloween Tiny Town. Um, Madame Chantilly Winter Hot Cocoa. How fun is that? Um, Madame Chantilly just hot cocoa. Because, you know, I needed the winter hot cocoa because of the animals. They are just too cute. And the hot cocoa was just because those coffee cups are so adorable. Okay, more Sh Madame Chantilly. Dear Rudolph. So cute. Um, Crochetta Go-Go. Now, I am not one that has to get the whole set. But I felt some pressure. I needed to get the whole set on this one. There were two out of three that I wanted. So I said, just get the third one. Just have it. So this is Crescetta Go Go, and um, I can't remember. I don't know what it is in English, but these are four months. There's January, February, March, and April in this collection, and they're kind of hard to see. But okay, so but you need to go out and look at this. So the La Finestra del Tempo Part One, La Finestra del Tempo. So, I don't know what that stands for, but there's January, February, March, and April. January has a little penguin, a house, a snowman. It's just so cute. And it has how many days of the month are on it too. I love that. Um, February has a house, some cats, hearts. March has a frog, um, some flowers, a bee, a house, and April has a bunny rabbit, an umbrella, some carrots, and a house. Okay, then we go into May, June, July, and August. May has a little fox, a bird cage, and a house. Um, some flowers, it looks like. June has a cute little dog, 
some flowers, some strawberries, and a house. They each have a house on it. That's pretty cool. July has sunflowers and a goose. August has flip-flops, like a little ice cream cart, a koala bear, a watermelon slice, and a house. So there's that one. And then September, September, October, November, and December. September, oh my, this is the one that made me fall in love with it. Look at those. Those are stinking adorable. So we've got September is a little hedgehog, um, leaves. Oh my gosh, just cute. October is that awesome owl, some pumpkins, spider web. November has um, some acorns, the cute little raccoon. And then December has a cute little dog with a, with a Santa hat, or maybe it's a bear with a Santa hat. Um, some other cute little animals, some trees. They're just stinking adorable. How to get that. Okay, carrying up. Autumn Lane Stitchery, Smell My Feet. Oh, this, this is so fun. I love it. Okay. Okay, by the way, my October plans, I'm not start, oh, there we go. I'm not starting anything new. I wasn't going to start anything new, but I am going to start my Halloween, if the Frosted Pumpkin one, I am going to start that one. That one I'm going to add in there. Okay, Twin Peak Primitives, Gingerbread Smalls 2022. Look at all these gingerbreads. And look at the camper. The camper is one of them that sold me. Oh, look at the cute little gingerbread guy. Look at that. Oh my gosh, those are so stinking cute. Okay, very well in the wood, Christmas mug. Oh, and there's some little bells and a candy cane with it as well. Um, New York Dreamer Needlework, pumpkin spice and everything nice. I love those things she uses for the backdrops. I'm going to have to figure out where to find those. Um, hot cookie and hot cocoa and cookies. And New York Dreamer again. Give me coffee to change the things I can and wine to accept the things I cannot. That is super cute. We have a Crochet to Go Go 12 Christmas Vintage Series. Now I did not get the whole series on this one. I only got Artwork number seven, the cardinal. I just love those cute, those little cardinals. So, and it says blessed and it has a cute little like gazebo bird feeder kind of thing. I just love that. All right. Then we have Sweet Wings Studio again. Happy fall, y'all. Um, Teresa Kogut, Jingle Bells. It's a cute little star, jingle bells. Um, frog Cottage Designs, Queen Bee. Um, designed by Lisa, Turkey Buscorno. Oh my, okay. Look at this. X's and hoes. I don't know if you guys watch, but look at those. Look at that turkey. If you don't have that turkey, you need that turkey. This is an awesome turkey. Even for turkey pe people that aren't turkey people, you need that turkey. All right, now we have Luminous Fiber Arts, All Hallows Eve. Oops, there's still more. Frony Redder Designs, um, Rustic Wine Lover Santa. I thought this one was so cute. I love it. Tiny Modernus, The Stitch Witch. Okay, this was the number one pick that I needed from Expo, Witch Training Academy by Kathy Barrick. Love that. Um, here's one of them that I had on back order from um, Stacy for a while, Dreaming of Van Gogh by Barbara Anna Designs. I love this one. Finally got it, yay! Primrose Cottage Stitches, they always have such great things, but I just love the simplicity of this one, Gather. Isn't that just, I love it. Um, another Primrose Cottage Stitches, the Salem Sisters Apothecary. So fun. 
And there's even an Etsy shop where that you can buy that board for it too. That's pretty cool. The finish size on this will be like seven by four. It's a lot smaller than I was thinking. That's cool. And then the, the last item in here, I have some freebies as well, but um, 13 Spooky Smalls at Primrose Cottage Stitches. I got the book. Oh, look at that. I love 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 that. But wait, there's more. I love that. 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 Oh, that's just wood. But I still love it. Oh, it's so cute. All those fun things. All right. Okay, so that's that order. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, next. Another box. We got another box. Which? Oh, let's open this one. This is Muse Fiber. And they are actually a, it's a yarn shop um, fabric dyer in Hastings, Minnesota. Um, I've been down there and they've got some of the cutest little things. They also have a cross stitch section as well. So they have a few little cross stitch things. They're just, oh, I hope I didn't cut the yarn. Um, okay, I don't think I did. She did a pre-order. And the pre-order was Hocus Pocus related. Um, so I got black flame candle. So she does all of her own dyeing. Look at the black. Look, not, it's hard to get a good black yarn. But look at the color variations in there. Um, this one's called Winifred. I got two of the Winifreds. And then I also got, um, oh, I can't read the, read the writing, but it's matcha, matcha latte. Cause I thought that went really well with Winifred. And then I also got Brandy Alexander, um, because I thought that that also went really well. So got some of that there. Very, very fun. Um, I found this antique, um, little container from, from Stacy Stitches, and I'm going to use it to make a small and do like a little pin cushion thing. So that's what this guy is. Um, I don't know what it's really called. I think if, I don't know if it's called like a scissor fob or what it is, but I know that she like goes around to different antique stores and finds these things. Um, so I just thought this was super cute and I can't wait to try it. So it's this little white milk glass and I can take the small and put it right in here. So, and it'll be a cute little pink cushion decoration. Super excited for that as well. Um, let's see. So there's that. Okay. We are, we're getting there. Two more boxes left. This one is from Fangirl Fibers. Now, I know I ordered a few things from Fangirl Fibers. I'm not sure if they're all in here, but we will find out. Um, she had a few different um, items that were put out there. And so, okay, this one is, so this is a mystery box. I think this is the Hocus Pocus one. So I, on my um, invoice here, I have the 12 Days of Friends mini gifts. And I think that's a Christmas, that's gonna come up more in the Christmas. And then I also got I Smell Snow from Gil for the Gilmore Girls Winter and Stars Hollow. So, and that's a four week box. So I think those are coming out later. So I'm pretty sure this one is time to run amok. Hocus Pocus movie cast on box. All right. 
Okay, let's see what's in it. Okay, if you haven't gotten your, I think I just got this in the last couple days. So spoiler alert on the Time to Run Amok Hocus Pocus box. Number one, as soon as you open it, you see everything. So don't open the box if you don't want to know what it is yet. Okay, we got, okay. Come back in probably about five minutes or so if you don't want to hear what all this is. Um, okay, first we have a candle. It's just a bunch of Hocus Pocus. Um, and it's called Old Soul. And this is by... This is the first fangirl box I've gotten, so I'm not really sure how all this is done. I'm just going with it. Um, let's see. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay, I don't know if I love the scent, but we'll see. But look, look at the inside. There's glitter and there's like a little cauldron in there. Oh, that'll be fun. That will be fun to burn and see how that happens. Oh my goodness, okay. Let's see. Oh, I gotta get the cover back on it. Um, Vanilla Corn from Dinan Popcorn and it's Halloween colors. Uh, ooh, these are floss drops. Oh my gosh. Okay, I have to open these. Got some crinkles. Got a little ring to put it on. These are cool. Oh, how fun is this? Okay, and they're different colors. So they're, they're star shaped. This one's like metallic. It looks black, but then it does and green and then oh my goodness and then there's an orange one and look at these so they have the big hole in the middle and then they have two little holes there so an orange one this one's black on one side and glittery orange on the other okay this one's like a paisley design Let's see if you can see that that's cool and then white and then a clear acrylic with some gold star sparkles in there. Oh my gosh, that's cool. Okay, I need to put these all together on here so we can see what they look like. Okay, I whenever I saw anything Hocus Pocus, I was like, yes, please. So. Oh my gosh, those are so fun. I love those. I love that shape. That's amazing. And those are from Fangirl Fibers. Okay, we got some hot cocoa, some Ghirardelli hot cocoa mix. Um, and then So then we got the pattern. The pattern is from Abby Sue Designs. It's all just a bunch of hocus pocus with the with the hair of the Sanderson sisters. And here is the fabric. It's called Book. It's 14 count Ada. Book. That's cool. Oh, I love that. This is going to be fun. Okay, and here are the colors. We have Black Flame Candle. It has like some light in there. Then we have Zachary Banks. We've got Sarah. Winifred. Mary. and a book. So here. So this this fabric is really cool. So on one side, it's, it's so varied. Here you can see how it's light there. And it's darker on the back side here. Oh my gosh, this is cool. That's going to be fun. And then we also have a needle minder. Oh, I love this one. Come, we fly. Very cool. Okay, and we have one more thing in here. What is this? This is, oh, we got a straw. 
Ooh. Some, oh my gosh, this is cool. Now, I don't keep all of these cups all the time because I have, I get a collection of cups. Um, but this says, some legends never die. This is amazing. Yeah, oh, this one, this one's a keeper. This one's definitely a keeper. Okay, this is my first fangirl fiber box. I'm loving it. Absolutely loving it. All right, there's that one. Okay, one more box. Just cross stitch. It's my just cross stitch box from Black Needle Society. I haven't even ripped the tape up yet. Let's do that. Let's get the tape off of that. Let's see what we've got in here. I know the people have been saying it's really good, so let's see what we've got. Okay, so this one, is, oh, spoiler alert if you haven't gotten it yet, um, nothing but cross stitch. So here's the front cover. Very fun. Okay, I'll open it up so I can read about what the things are. Oh, we got a little baby scissors. It's called Storklets, miniature in size, mighty in snipping. Little tiny scissors. They are so cute. Um, black mini storks. Stork scissors made by Kemscott, Kemscott Designs. We know we've sent a fair amount of standard size embroidery scissors. There have been some little large. Um, so we wanted to shake things up this month by sending you a miniature pair instead. The iconic stork scissors. This is cute. I've, this is my first pair of stork scissors. Okay, we have a box. Let's see what this is going to be. First, Janelle, you got to figure out how to open a box. All right, let's see. To be stitched. To be stitched jar and papers. Okay, so this is just a jar. Um, having trouble which, oh, cute. Okay, having trouble which, does, which project to stitch, pick up next. Use this to be stitched jar and papers to randomly select your next project. Use it for new starts or your current works in progress or a mixture. Fill out the slips of paper. Here we are. So on here it says project name, designer, and stored. So you know where it is. Um, and those fit. Oh, I see you can... Kind of a tight squeeze to get them in, but they're in. Okay, there's that. Um, fill out the slips of papers and then fold them up and mix them up and mix up your selection and pick out what to be stitched next. That's pretty cute. That's a cute idea. Um, we got some pony black 20 size 26 tapestry needles, not nickel plated. So those will be fun to try. I hope I like them. All right. Um, let's see. Specialty floss. Let's see. Dyed by Classic Color Works. All right. Here. Oh, this is pretty. Nice fall colors. We have roasted chestnuts. We have honeycomb and pine needles. So they were all twisted together. Very, very, very pretty colors. Love that. All right. Next we have a sticker. Cross stitch is my therapy. And let's see about the sticker. Designed by Kitster Cronk. So you can put this anywhere. All right, we got some needle bling design fabrics. I got 16 count Ada Butter Crunch. So this is kind of a yellowy, buttery. I like it. It's but it's muted. It's almost like it was a green tone to it as well. 
It's pretty fun. I like that. Um, Butter Crunch Fabric. With planning this box, we couldn't resist sending one of the new favorite fabrics to all of our society skit stitchers. Butter Crunch is a standard color at Needle Bling Designs and is a perfect neutral to warm up the colors of any new project you want to start. All right, exclusive needle minder. Mm. All right, it's what's called on the sheet, Snip Snap. Ooh. Oh, that's pretty. Snip Snap, designed by Designed by the Black Needle Society. It's our two favorite stitching accessories in one, scissors and needle minder with a little fall flare. So it's cute. Very fun. Okay, very very neat. Okay, next we have um, labels. Why do we have labels? We have labels. I don't know why we have labels. Oh, this must be why. All right. This is from That's So Kelly. Um, it's the best needle scissor. I think. Got the needles. That, 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 that. Okay. Yep. It's a bitsy keep. Okay, here we go. Um, use this Bitsy Keep to store threads for your next project. We personally like to use for DMC projects. And while stitching, you can use the fabric area to keep your floss from floating away. Not to mention that Kelly has hidden a little magnet underneath her logo. So right here, there's a little magnet. Um, so if you forgot to, your needle minder, you can use this for your needle. And I bet it will hold scissors there too. Cool, very fun. And then here's some labels that you can use for your Bitsy Keep to label your colors. That's pretty cool. So you can kind of see how, like, so this is like eight and a half by 11 piece of paper, so you can see how big that is. Cute. I love the design on it. That's neat. The sharpest scissory for the finest needle works. Cute, cute, cute. Okay. Then the last thing we have is the pattern. It's my guilty pleasure. Mama Witch Cross Stitch. One of a kind magic patterns for witch souls. My guilty pleasure. Cute. It's a cute little guy. Very fun. Cute, cute, cute. All right. And ladies and gents and everybody, that is all of my haul. Okay, so that's the haul. Now, plans. My plans are to stitch on Halloween. Um, I know I'm flying today. I'm not like taking time. I, I'm flying because I know I got to get stuff done and I think it's starting to get dark out and I still have to finish laundry and pack and now it's starting to get late. Oh my gosh, now I'm starting to stress. Oh, it's okay. Jinx is sleeping. We're still good. Okay. All right. So these are the items that I'm bringing with me to Galleria. I am bringing, um, this is Halloween by um, Primrose Cottage Stitches. I'm bringing um, October 31st. These are all like things that are in progress here. So I don't know. Um, October 31st by Blackberry Rabbit. And I'll show you, I'll tell you guys all my progress on these as we go along and stuff like that. But these are what I'm planning on stitching. So this one, this is Halloween by Primrose Cottage Stitches. That's the one I'm going to bring. And I think I'm about halfway on this one. 
so that'll be fun. All right. I am bringing Wama Wink. I'll explain Wama Wink more later. Um, I am bringing, because it's not October yet, I have to bring something not Halloween. I am bringing Good Night Sleep Tight by Fairy Will in the Woods. And this is where I'm at with it. I have almost all of the log done. And then I am also bringing my fancy lady, my fancy lady, Mira, Nora Corbett. Um, and this one is, I forget which one's this one, this is Electra. So that's Electra. And so here's where I'm at with Electra. So that is what I'm bringing. So I have two projects that are not October Halloween related. Oh, I have one more here. Um, and this is my um, Caterpillar Cross Stitch Touch of Magic, this one. And this was a stitch along and I, oh, that's not the project part, that's the extra fabric part. Where's the, here, there. I think I have clue one done. And maybe not even all of clue one, but some of clue one. So that's what I have so far. So that's what I'm bringing along with me to Galleria to work on are those items. My other items that I have that are Halloween related are my Glendon Place um, Poltergeist Pirates. Um, I've got the Haunted Library Stitch Along. This one is the, and this is another Stitch Along the um, hands-on design <laughs> fabrics by Stephanie. <laughs> That's as far as I've gotten. I haven't printed anything out yet. And I got the fabric in there. I need to get the floss out. Um, this one is another stitch along. Um, sneaky spooky spells. And I feel like I have, yeah, I've got the whole kit. I feel like I have the whole kit. I don't know. Maybe I don't. Okay. Well, it's a good thing I'm not bringing it to Galleria, right? Right. Um, I have Welcome Campers by the Witchy Stitcher. Um, this is a Jason one. I've got um, Witchy Way by Primrose Cottage Stitches. I've got Primrose Cottage Stitches, Happy Halloween. And I have two more. So I have Crochette A Go Go. Um, they're like the six characters. And then I always forget if it's Halloween Fairy. Yep, Halloween Fairy. So that's, those are my October plans. I'm going to stitch on everything Halloween in October. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. So there's my 13. Plus, if I want to start my um, Frosted Pumpkin, and if I want to start my Hocus Pocus. So I know I'm not going to start the other ones I got. Um, so I have 13 plus 2. So 13 plus is my 13 stitches of Halloween, and that's what I'm doing. That's how I'm getting it. So those are my plans. So I am now 
going to clean up this mess. I am going to go fold the rest of my laundry and I'm going to pack and get my clothes all set and ready to go so I can hit the road early in the morning, get down and catch my plane and move on out to St. Louis. So there we are. I flew. I know I flew. I probably talked kind of fast. So if you guys watch me on fast speed, I might have been a little faster than normal. I don't know. Anyway, there it is. So I am not going to do the Minnesota goodbye today. I'm just going to be, I'm out. I've got lots of stuff to do and I will be back after Galleria. So next Tuesday, I'll be back with an update on how Galleria was so much fun because it will be and what I got done because I'm going to get a lot of stitching done um, and even some knitting too. So I'm super excited. All right. And girl time, girl time. That's what I'm going for. Girl time with friends. So, all right. Have fun, everybody. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Have a great week and I'll see you next week. Smile, sparkle, shine.